Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Today we are exploring one of my favorite places on earth, Yosemite Valley. Found in California's Sierra Nevada mountain range, Yosemite boasts beautiful waterfalls, amazing rock formations, and of course, giant sequoias. America's third national park was officially founded on October 1st, 1890. It is estimated that over 3 million guests return to Yosemite each year to be surrounded by natural beauty. And while it is fun to go hiking and explore the natural beauty that lies within Yosemite, there are plenty of hidden animals that you might not know exist within the national park. Here are three that you need to know. As their names suggest, the Sierra Nevada Bighorn Sheep is endemic to the Sierra Nevada mountain range found within California and Nevada. They are perfectly adapted for alpine life. However, they weren't prepared for diseases contracted from domestic sheep and unregulated hunting. These two factors nearly brought them to extinction. In fact, Yosemite Valley lost all of their Sierra Nevada bighorns within the first 25 years of the park's existence. In the late 1990s, there was only 125 bighorns still alive in the Sierras, with 20 of those in the Yosemite herd. Luckily, nowadays, thanks to conservation efforts, there are over 600 bighorns roaming the Sierras today including, if you're lucky enough to see them, in Yosemite's Cathedral Range. We've met a bighorn sheep, but now it's time to meet the little guy. This is the Valley Elderberry Longhorn Beetle. Quite impressive, isn't it? Their long antenna are often more than two-thirds of their own body's length. And their name also suggests their favorite food. That's right, elderberry. And they're not picky either. It can be either red or blue elderberry. And they're always found close to their host plant, usually along rivers and streams. Females lay their eggs on the bark of the elderberry plant. The larvae then hatch and burrow into the stems. When they crawl out, they leave exit holes, which scientists use to monitor the population. While their range spans California's Central Valley, they are subject to habitat loss, and they are considered a threatened species. But if you make it to Yosemite, you'll know what plant to find them on. Last but certainly not least, we have the Yosemite toad. They are quite a charismatic species, well known for their call. In fact, their Latin name, Bufo canoris, translates to tuneful toad. And as their name suggests, the Yosemite toad is native to the high elevations of the Sierra. They are endemic to this part of the world, which means they are found nowhere else on earth. Life in the Sierras is tough, especially for amphibians. They spend half the year in hibernation to wait out the harsh winters. However, it's not the harsh winters that are decreasing their wild population numbers. It's in fact that snowpack is decreasing, thus breeding pools are drying up before their tadpoles can metamorphize into adults. Yosemite's natural beauty is breathtaking. But what's even more impressive is the abundance of unique and endemic animals found only in this beautiful part of the world. Check out the links below for more information. Thanks for watching.